away. Uh, it's a time for a Tuesday devotion again. I'm going to read from the lectionary, uh, which today is 1 Peter 5, 1 through 5. It's about the Good Shepherd, and we heard on Sunday, uh, Psalm 23, and some other shepherd images, so we're kind of continuing that theme. So verse 5 begins, or excuse me, chapter 5 begins, To the elders among you, I appeal as a fellow elder and a witness of Christ's sufferings, who also will share the glory to be revealed. Be shepherds of God's flock that is under your care, watching over them not because you must, but because you are willing, as God wants you to be, not pursuing dishonest gain, but eager to serve, not lording it over those entrusted to you, but being examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the crown of glory that will never fade away. In the same way, you who are younger, submit yourselves to your elders. All of you, clothe yourselves with humility toward one another, because God opposes the proud, but shows favor to the humble. It reminds me of a quote from Dr. King's father, who was always saying to young people and old alike, it's never about you. It's always about others. So what is involved with being a good shepherd? Taking care of the basic need for food, safety, and shelter. Get the sheep to a pasture where they can eat. Make sure predators can't get in. Get them together to sleep at night as a group. Make sure someone is watching over them. If it's not you, it might be the gatekeeper, like Rod was saying on Sunday. Everything else is up to them. God is not asking us to tell them how to be sheep. That's theirs to figure out. Beyond that, Peter explains that we are to care we are to be eager to serve willingly, not for any recognition, but in humility. This could translate quite easily. We are to love the flock. We're to love the flock. And he even says that if we will do this out of humility, that God will have a reward for us, a crown of glory that will never fade away. Compared with shepherding, being a parent of children seems a lot more like micromanaging. While it's important that we provide food, shelter, clothing, and tuck them in at night, the job is so much bigger than that. They're not born able to walk straight out of the chute like lambs are. There's so much care that goes into a child's first few years. There's the diapers and the crying, for starters. We are involved in their learning of language, their moral development, their sense of boundaries and social behavior. We encourage them to be loving and kind teach how to settle disagreements, how to pursue things that they're interested in. A child's faith in God is also something that we as parents are able to encourage. There's just so much that goes into raising a child. Of course, love, being loving parents, is definitely a big part of the job. This week we learn about God being our shepherd. Wow, that is really nice sometimes, right? There are times 
I feel pretty much dumb as a sheep and just want my basics covered. Not looking for the Father God or Mothering God to teach me and put me through the paces like a parent would with all the questions. Sometimes I just need the Good Shepherd to find me when I'm lost, no questions asked, bring me home to my flock, get a good meal, and be tucked in bed for the night. Kind of like Peter Cottontail after his big day in Mr. McGregor's garden. Peter knew that his mother loved him when she brought him the chamomile tea and put him to bed. Of all the common threads between shepherding and parenting, the basics are really important because if any one of them is missing, the whole thing won't last. The relationship falls apart. Uh, the, the family unit or the, the flock um, becomes vulnerable and might not last, might perish. You gotta have food, you gotta have shelter, you gotta have safety. We can run out of food. Our house can burn down. We can get into dangerous situations. And what drives us to provide those things that make the whole thing work and, and so much more as shepherds or parents, the most important thing is the love. And the great thing about love is that you don't ever have to run out of it because Jesus is right there with us, loving us forever without conditions. We can receive the love of Christ in the hugs that we give each other, in the care we show each other, in all the acts of shepherding and parenting. The love gets returned tenfold. So God's plan is really cool that way. So, if we could pray together. God, thank you for loving us like a shepherd sometimes, and as a parent, others, and also as a friend through our loving friendship with Jesus. Help us to know how we can help each other through troubles and challenges. And thank you for the gift we have in each other. May we acknowledge the presence of your Holy Spirit in those moments of beloved community. And in so doing, may we grow stronger families, create safer pastures, and more loving homes every day with you shepherding, parenting, and always loving us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.